Okay folks, today we're in Rotorua. I've come down here because I got very lucky on training me yesterday. A Gazelle 25 come up for sale at a reasonable price. They've been one of my favourite trailer boats for a long time. They're just fantastic size. They're 25 foot, obviously. This one, um, they're all fiberglass, fiberglass top and bottom. And this one's had a uh, scoop added here, um, which these are just fantastic actually because you can see so it's got the bracket there. It's also got a lovely outboard well, which I'll show you. Can't be an outboard well, especially on a 25 foot trailer sailor, because a 25 foot is probably a little bit big, in my opinion, for an outboard on the back. You start um, really worrying about. At pitching out of the water at 20 I reckon 22 foot after that 24 depending on the transom after that it kind of feels like um it's not the right thing having an outboard on the back anyway it's fiberglass it's got this really wicked trailer um it's a brake trailer um and it's all the steel has been updated relatively recently um which is cool I'm not going to tow it though today because this is my Volvo and I feel like it's a bit small. These boats are, I think they're two ton with the trailer. And uh, I just got that Volvo. And I haven't even towed caravans with it yet. And I feel like it might be just pushing it. And also the trailer's not legal. Um, and, you know, like just don't, it's a bit too early in the brand new year to be pushing my luck, I think. So I, I already feel lucky having acquired this. All this is just do it, you know, like you, you can always tell something whether, whether something's going to clean up all right because if you it's the sheen on it, if it's shiny, if you can see a bit of shine under the dirt, then it'll clean up nice. If you can't see that shine underneath, generally they won't. You've got to love, don't you love the look of it? It's so sleek looking, so much hull, and then just that cabin top. I always thought the gazelle I, would have made a wonderful keeler. You know, like, um, I think if it had been a keeler, would have been one of my favourites this size. I think they did make a, a couple of them. Um, I saw one down Tauranga for sale. Was it Shazam or something? It was a purple one a couple of years ago. Somebody might comment and it might have been theirs. So I walked around the deck. Um, it's dirty, obviously. Um, you know, obviously needs a good clean-up, you know. But look at it, you know, like, it's uh, it'll clean up nice. Very, very well thought out design. I believe they were designed in Wellington, these. And they were designed for the um, Cook Strait. So they, um, you know, they, they're a hefty little thing. Um, don't you love all this flat area on top? No grab rails. That, that would be a interesting in a chop. Maybe that would be a good thing to add. Um, so the guy I bought off said it needed a new rudder. Um, it has got the rudder here. I presume it's got a bit of rot in it. Haven't had a really good look at it. But it looks alright for maybe light use. But I think he's right. I mean, it, but I'm so glad it was here actually because building a new rudder from scratch. In fact, I should really take a um, print sort of some sort of pattern off it before I do anything um, in case that breaks if I sail it. Now, um, and now I won't have the pattern. Now, there's the outboard well. So there'll be a thing that drops down there and you put the outboard on there. And that's just a magic thing because it gives you all the access right there. Just magic. Um, now we'll go in the cabin for a look. It's dirty. It's been neglected for, you know, obviously the owner lives elsewhere and um, hasn't been up here. My guess is he arrived here the other day, having not been here for a year or two and thought, bugger it, I can't be bothered. Um, which is fair enough, you know, if you're a busy guy, and so he chucked on trade me ludicrously cheap, and I just happened to get the thing at the right time. So here's the kitchen. Now that's the centreboard. It's weighted that centreboard, so it drops down. It's part of the why these are such a good little sea boat, is because that's actually like a keel. You know, it's weighted and and it go, you know, drops down. It'd be lovely when that's. It'll feel <laughs> when that's out of the picture. It'll be nice because there's all that space and it really takes up the central room. Um, one cool thing about this is it sits quite flat without that because it doesn't have a stump keel like so many trailer sailors. So 
particularly in Mangawai where I live, um, that might be really handy because it's, um, if indeed I keep it, I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, here's the front berth. Isn't that a big spacious? That really is a proper, proper double bed. And it's got that hatch above it, which is real cool. There's a separate toilet, which is pretty neat. Like, you know, like, this really feels like bigger boat stuff. Here's the keel again. Wouldn't that be nice when that's not there? Needs a bit of a clean up up there. Bit of surface rust. The boat has been neglected, you know, like there's no two ways about it, but man, it'll shine up well. You know, a bit of a, a bit of a clean out. Um, I had a little bit of look, little look at the sails. They, um, it's not focusing very well, is it? The, um, the sails look okay. There's a Genoa, a spinnaker, and a mainsail, and it's that sort of later model material. I'm actually not that fussed about that. The radio has fallen down. The, um, let me have a look from over here. I'll pan round for you. Do you like the, um, I mean, it's not quite a head height. It, apparently, they're 1.6. I don't reckon, I think that's pretty generous actually, it seems a little bit lower than that to me, because I'm a bit of a, I'm, I'm, I'm not a, I'm not a particularly tall fella, and I can't stand up, you know, maybe if I, I mean, I can almost stand up in the hat, not quite though, so, you know, you'd have to be down here, which is two or three inches, I pumped quite a lot of water, there was a bit of water in the con containers, like I said, I think it really has been neglected for a while, God, I wouldn't be surprised if this hasn't been in the water for a couple of years, um, but that's okay, I love boats like that, you know, they, they come along, they're cheap, and a lot of the cleaning up is very, very easy, um, providing you don't have to do anything major structural, it's got no osmosis, I can see nothing really, you know, what a wonderful space as well, you know, I think um, this really is quite large, um, I'm not sure what my plan with it is at the moment, I bought it, it was real cheap, I drove down here today thinking I'd come up with a plan, <laughs> half of mine to top tow it back but I don't I think I'd be pushing my luck the Volvo XC60 is rated for about 1800 kgs and this would be two ton and I'm not sure if the brakes work you know not sure if the tires and you know just don't want to push my luck that much I don't think so um, I have a friend um, who I, I have a caravan business buying and selling caravans and um, so I often tow caravans um, and when they're too big or too cumbersome I, um, I have a guy who puts them on a trailer for me, and I, that's what I did with the Contessa 26, and I think I'll probably do that with this, which really means I should drop the mast today. But I don't know if I can with that electric fence, so it might be another trip down here at least. That might be all right with me, actually. And, um, or, or maybe I could drop it. I mean, if I pulled it out and dropped it, that would be advantageous, and then I could leave it in such a way that he could pick it up, which would be a smart thing to do. Um, and that's about it. I mean, I'm quite... Yeah, I've got four boats at the moment. Um, something would be nice if something sold. They don't seem to be the popularity, the quick bit of popularity that they had for a short time seems to have waned. But anyway, I, um, I'm still doing a few and happy to be doing so. I quite like to sail. I quite like to keep it, actually. I mean, you've heard me say that a bunch of times, haven't you? But it is a really nice little boat. Like, it's all fiberglass and cleaned up nice. It's a wonderful space and it's trailerable. And from Magawai coming in the bar, it doesn't draw anything when the keel's up, or hardly anything. I can leave it on the sand, so I get all the benefits of a keel and a trailer sailor. Ooh, yeah, it's pretty attractive. And these sail like a demon. I talked to a guy last night um, who was selling one because I wanted to know the weight of, for trailering them. And he said that he'd seen nine knots on his in Nelson Bays. I mean, that sounds pretty neat, doesn't it? Nine knots. He said he often does seven or eight reaching, not with a spinnaker either, just a know it in the main so i mean that's uh you know pretty fun going those sorts of speeds and um yeah i think it would be a really really fun boat so let's see what happens i'll um i'm gonna leave here soon and um you know we'll, we'll see what happens we've got some other things to do and anyway happy new year hope you're having a great day Bye bye